Walker, Ard Kadok refuses to see you. Now go, before I gut you. The Ard needs to hear what I have to say, my friend. It is imperative that we speak. Good to see you, my friend. I could use an ally in this desolate place. The Grey Host has turned his attention upon the Reach, but the local ruler refuses my help. This so-called despot of Markar thinks walls and centuries will hold back their fury. Ard Kadok, self-proclaimed ruler of the Reach. He rarely ventures out of Understone Keep these days. I've come to offer my assistance, but he refuses to listen. Meanwhile, even here in the shadow of the city, Greyhost agents plot and conspire. An alliance of vampires, witches, and werewolves bent on slaughter and conquest. I want to protect the Reach, but to do that, I need to uncover the Greyhost's plans and secure Ard Kadok's cooperation. Would you be willing to help me in this? With your help, we may save the Reach yet. While I continue to exert diplomatic pressure, I need you to find information the Ard will consider valuable. Something concerning the rebels that plague his rule, perhaps. Start by talking to the sentry. Reachfolk deal in bargains. They respect strength and skill, and they believe in rewarding favors. If we can bring something important to the Ard while demonstrating these qualities, I think he'll agree to hear us out. If we're to stop the Grey Host and help the Reach, we don't have a choice. At the very least, we need his resources and support. In my time here, I have heard about these rebels, but I'm not sure the extent of their rebellion. See what you can learn. Remember, remain respectful but wary when dealing with Reach Folk. They don't suffer long speeches, or even short ones. Keep your conversation with the Sentry brief and to the point. Once you find something, meet me in Markarth at Understone Keep. This Grey Host is somehow connected to the army that ravaged the land in the First Era. Like their ancient counterpart, I assume they seek to conquer and destroy. I need to learn more to know for sure. Meanwhile, we must get the Reach to prepare. No, of course not. I won't mince words. The Reachmen are a stubborn and unruly people. They resort to violence at the least provocation, but despite the opinion of most civilized Tamriel, they aren't frothing barbarians. The Reach folk possess a distinct culture that you'll see during your time here. They also enjoy the same capacity for virtue and evil as Bretons, Nords, and the other peoples of Tamriel. Animal skins don't make one a barbarian. Actions do. An appellation he earned this, I understand it. Ard Kadok is said to be ruthless and powerful, a cruel leader who seeks the ruin of Tamriel and the death of any who reject the spirits, or what you and I call the Daedric Princes. That he's a king of broken antlers and carrion crows who eats the hearts of his enemies and hunts children for sport? Perhaps. But the legend always overshadows the reality. Kadok's legend is a mix of daggerfall insults and reach superstitions. He's a canny leader who applies both caution and brutality in equal measure. He calls himself Ard, the king of the fort, but his rule isn't absolute. Most reach clans respect him, however. His help will be crucial in the battles ahead. And you as well. I only wish we weren't in the midst of yet another crisis. I formed the Ravenwatch to deal with this type of eventuality, but even with centuries to prepare, I find myself caught off guard. And Kadok's stubbornness doesn't help. Yes, but too few. We tracked Radha al Saron to the Reach and found the place crawling with Greyhost warriors. He's here for a reason, and I think it goes beyond simple conquest. But the truth of his motives elude me. Didn't you hear? You and that fancy bastard aren't welcome here. Get, or I'll make a scarf out of your guts. We know all about the blood drinkers and the beast folk. We were dealing with them just fine before Ard Kadok called us back to Markarth. The witch rebels are a bigger threat, along with outsiders who try to get into our business. 
Some wilder witch has been stirring up the clans to the east of Markarth, making trouble for Ard Kadok. <laughs> but we'll have her head on a pike soon enough. Look, if you want to see the Ard, then bring news he doesn't know. Something about the rebels. are as bad as the damn vampires. Get... get away from me, you reeker. You think a rich warrior with only one good leg can't cut you? Well, think again! Mm, the Grey Host? Does it look like I've been bitten or clawed? It was the damn witch rebels. And they can't tell a rich folk from a monster any better than you can. They thought I was one of those invaders. Spirits take the lot of them. I, like a pack of wild dogs they were, kept shouting Arana, Arana as they bore down on me. I took an arrow in the leg before they listened to me, before they decided I wasn't an invader. I think Arana spoke to me. I think she was their leader. No, like ghosts these rebels are. I plan to return to Markarth and petition the Ard to let me take a war party out to find them. They must be hiding in the eastern foothills. I don't care if they are fighting the Grey Host. They're mine.
stay here as long as you like. I'm done waiting for Ard Kardec to muster the clans. Are you now? And what do you plan to do about it? Join those rebels? You wouldn't have the first clue about how to find them. That's where you're wrong. Connell says they're gathering in the eastern foothills. Well then, your head can wind up on a pike with the rest of them, you damn fool. Yeah, my friend. Was your hunt successful? You couldn't have timed your arrival any better. Ard Kadak holds court as we speak. We'll never have a better chance to gain an audience with him. Did your investigation uncover anything we can use? What did you learn? Irana? I have heard that name during my time here. Did you happen to learn what these rebels are rebelling against? Flee this city, with a grey host prowling the countryside. Well, that's three valuable pieces of information. I want you to represent me before Ard Kadok. Explain what you learned and convince him to finally agree to meet with me. Speak with the Ard Sentry. You'll need to convince her to gain an audience with Kadok. I think the information you uncovered about the rebels will be enough to interest the despot of Markarth. But you can never be too certain with Reachfolk. I'm lucky to have made it this far into the city. Kadak and his entourage have little patience for a noble such as myself. Especially a noble from a land they consider to be the home of their enemy. Now, this task is better in your hands. I shall wait around here and continue to discreetly learn what I can about the Reach and its people. I also want to think about Arana and her rebels. Maybe there's a way to add them to our arsenal. Go. I'll be here when you get back. You again? You dare to disgrace Understone Keep with your presence, outsider? <laughs> that takes guts, I'll give you that. What's your business in the Ard's Keep? Do you now? And you want to share that information with Ard Kadok? <laughs> You're certainly full of surprises, outsider. All right, I'll allow you to approach the throne, if your courage holds out. Fair warning, the Ard's in a foul temper today. Not yet you don't, but you will. Ard Caddox is likely to remove your head from your shoulders as listen to you, so talk fast, outsider. And remember, the Ard has no patience for fools or flatterers. Keep that in mind.
What fool do I have to behead for letting you in here? You're not of the Reach or the Clans. You've either got the sense of a goat or the heart of a saber cat, and I'm eager to find out which. Now, speak plainly. What brings you to the despot of Markarth? The fancy elf, who won't take no for an answer, huh? Yeah, he should have made this offer earlier. News concerning the rebels is a beast worth skinning. Tell me something I don't know, and won't have you fed to my hunting dogs. Spies in my city. <laughs> well, that would explain some things, but... That and a vague location aren't enough to get me to sit down and drink with a high elf. What else have you got? And remember, my patience is wearing thin. Arana. I know that name. She's a honey-tongued fanatic who refused to bury her sword when I forged a peace with the Grey Host. She's slippery, eh? But I didn't realize she led the rebels. Sniffing out her reach, which that commands respect for now. Aye, they agreed to spare the city while they look for some ancient relic. Dwarven, I suspect. They can have it. Verandas wants to meet? Then talk to my advisor, Lady Belaine. Track down Arana for her, and I'll listen to every word he has to say. I couldn't help but overhear Art Caddick's voice it carries. Now tell me about the leader of the Witch Rebels. The name you provided? Arana, I believe you said? Ah, therein lies the problem. Reach witches are experts at losing themselves in the many caves and copses that decorate the landscape. It's like finding a tooth in a hen's beak. Most witches give deference to the Ard. Arana is a troublemaker. Actually, that task falls to you. A favor for a favor, yes. That's how business works here. Locate the rebels. Find Arana and urge her to stop meddling in Markarth's affairs. Do that, and you shall earn a place for you and your count in the Reach. That look on your face. I know curiosity when I see it. Very well. I can spare a few more moments before sending you off on your task. What does the outsider in Ardcaddock's court wish to know? While I may not have been born and raised in the Reach, I have earned my place as friend and counselor to Ard Kaddick. His subjects call me a Keep Witch. I assure you, this is a term of the utmost respect among the Reach folk. A genuine desire for peace brought me here. The Reach finds itself beset from all sides. Orcs, Nords, Bretons, Imperials, they all seek the destruction of the Reach folk. I try to serve as a bridge of sorts. Yes, a bridge between the Reach and the civilized world. There's simply no reason that the people of Tamriel should go on killing each other. We have an opportunity to build a kinder, better Tamriel. I'm here to help make that future come to pass. What is any rebellion all about? Malcontents chafing against the established order, stirring up trouble. They're a nuisance, nothing more. It's a matter of timing. Since the arrival of the Grey Host, the land beyond the city walls has become perilous. The Ard urges everyone to take shelter here in Markarth, while Arana calls them away. Her reckless endeavor will get everyone killed. Peace, yes, of a sort. 
As long as we stay out of their way, the Grey Host has no quarrel with us. Besides, the walls of Markarth are impregnable. The Reach Folk are perfectly safe in here. Now go, find Arana. A favor performed is a favor returned. Be here, my friend. Before you run off, tell me about your audience with Ard Karak. Impressive. You accomplished more in mere moments than I've been able to do since I arrived in this savage land. We'll find a runner. See if the witch rebels will join our cause. I will continue my own investigations and meet you back here. These hills belong to the Reach Folk, Rover. Turn around and go back the way you came, or I'll have your nose for a trophy. Witch Rebels, huh? That's just a label applied by the oppressors, don't you think? Look, we have enough trouble with those Greyhost bastards and Karak soldiers. We don't need a curious outsider blundering around and getting in our way, too. You're a hunter. Truly. Sounds more like Karak and his keep witch getting up to more mischief. You want to befriend the witch rebels? Then prove it. The Grey Host has set up stockpiles nearby. Find out what they're storing, and then we'll talk. The stockpiles were spotted to the east and south. If you can find out what the Grey Host is using them for, then we'll owe you a favor. And true Reach folk never renege on a favor. If I knew for certain, there'd be no need to have you go and take a look, would there? Probably supplies for their army. Though what vampires and werewolves need is anyone's guess. Ritual items? Things for their harrowcraft? That's what I expect. Aye. Harrowcraft is what we call the rituals we've seen the Greyhost perform when they summon those cursed storms. Then you know the Grey Host has recruited Ice Reach witches to conjure up their storms. They use 
fetishes and alchemical mixtures in the rituals, so it makes sense they need a place to store those components. There may be a piece of sorts inside Markarth, but out here we're outnumbered and fighting for our lives. Nothing unusual on that. We won't let the Greyhose desecrate our land, and we won't let Kara give it away just to avoid a little blood. Are you daft, outsider? Do I look like a witch to you? A true witch has power, hears the spirits, knows the old words, commands animals, things like that. Some use their power to help, others use it to kill. Ice Reach witches are particularly evil. Well, you'll probably have to fight them again. They stalk these hills like old ghosts. They're allied with the Grey Host now, don't you know? Greedy hags, the law of them. I respect their strength, but their hearts are all twisted inside.
This one, Tefan. Come, Harrier. Give me your measure. Tefan told me about you, Harrier. You wanted to talk? Well, here I am. What will it be? A battle? I haven't turned anyone into a goat recently, but I'm willing to try if you so much as raise your weapon. Why does everyone insist on calling us that? Tefern, remind me to come up with a better name when time permits. As for later, well, I guide this gathering of rich folk if that's what you're asking. But what about you? Why are you here? Of course she is. She's a vampire, after all. We tried to slay her twice without much luck. Quick as a spooked hair, that one, and twice as cautious. We'll have her fangs soon enough, though. You can read? What else does that sheet of paper say? The leader? Now that's a worthy bit of news. Bones and birds guide us well, but there's no replacing a cunning hunter. Go to the Barrow, Harrier. Listen in on their meeting. Find out what Belaine and her master are up to, and I'll hear you out. The spirits will see you safely to Valthum, Harrier. After that, I suggest stealth and a strong blade. Overthrow Markarth? What in Namira's name would I do with all that dead stone? No, my purpose is clear. I need to help our people by shaking Kadok out of his dream. If that doesn't work, I'll split his skull and let it spill out on its own. Kadok's dream of being king. Oh, he has a true heart. In better times, he's a fine leader. But we face a lean season. We're hungry. But instead of filling the larder, he dreams of a golden crown. His foolish pride has brought this upon our people. Not yet. Not until all the beasts of the woods howl his name. And every day he heeds Belaine is another day he proves me right. The Grey Host has dark plans for Markarth. Kadok's stubbornness will get everyone in that city killed. I am. And a fine one at that. What? Never met a witch before, Harrier? I'm sure. We're not all like the blood-sucking Belaine, or my misguided sisters from Icerich, though. Some of us aren't over-enthusiastic malcontents with a penchant for violence and destruction. Not all the time, anyway. Daedra? Oh, the spirits. The old ones. Yes, I've heard them called that. The world is full of whispers, for those with the patience to hear. Most them bloods are just too busy begging pardons from dead gods to pay attention. Pity. Daedra, spirits, crows, it's all the same. Where you see evil gods, we see teachers. Cruel ones, for certain. But that's the world, right? A stone will kill you if it strikes your head. But lifting the same stone makes us strong.
Ada Alceron. Your plan proceeds. Kadok hangs on my every word, and soon Reach Folk will fill Markarth like a larder. Excellent. With Markarth prepared, we need only claim the Arcts and Keystone. Hmm. I'll make inquiries. Just remember our arrangement. Like you, I hate to be disappointed. You there, in the shadows. You can't hide from the Ashen Lord. Follow me, if you dare. followed. There's fire in your veins, I'll give you that. Very well. You. The thorn that caused me no small amount of irritation and solitude. You thought yourself so clever, so stealthy spying on me from the shadows. But the darkness answers to me. Why have you come to this forsaken barrel? You stand before Radha al Saran and seek to understand his purpose. Better a torch bug try to comprehend the secrets of alchemy, or a mud crab the intricacies of necromancy. These events began millennia before your birth. They concern you not at all. Who is this we you speak of? Certainly not the Reach folk. No, there is someone else. I see them, lurking in your thoughts. An ally, almost as ancient as I am. They're desperate to forestall the coming night. Tell me, who is this person? And I don't have to resist the urge to rip out your throat and gorge on your blood. But we are civilized beings, exchanging pleasantries in this humble setting. Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. A tip for a tap, as it were. I propose a simple arrangement. A truth for a truth. Ask a question. I will answer honestly, then I will ask a question in turn. A fair compromise, don't you agree? Excellent. Then by all means, ask your first question. Lady Belaine is an ally of convenience. Her interests and my design are selfish and predictably narrow. Do you seek to supplant her in Kadok's court? I recommend against that, for it will not go well for you. A threat implies only the possibility of punishment. I do not threaten. Belaine has Kadok's ear. If he takes your side, she kills him, and chaos descends on Markarth. If he stands by Belaine, you will be executed. Neither outcome benefits you. Others? Who? Reach folk? The Witch Arana? Your mysterious ally? I am unconcerned. Now, for my question. This ally that hides behind your eyes, does he seek to protect the world by going against his own kind? Of course he does. Thank you for your honesty. Now, do you have anything else to ask? I have no interest in conquering the Reach. I came here to make use of something very old, very powerful. The Reach has the misfortune to be located directly above it. Many of these mortals will die, not because I want them to, but because they must. Not when your purpose is worthy. I do what I do for love. My turn. Your ally. Are they a High Elf? A lie. But I see the truth in your thoughts. Still, I shall give you another chance. Ask another question. That is a complicated question. A being as old as I can claim many origins. 
This flesh was born on the distant isles of Yokuda. This spirit was forged on the bloody shores of Hammerfell. This purpose, it grew from love and necessity. That word holds little meaning for me now. But yes, in my youth I dedicated my life to perfection. In art, perfection. In love, perfection. In war, especially in war, perfection. To attain glory in Yokuda, nothing less would do. Is it? Beyond the Sea of Pearls, peerless sword masters were as common as grains of sand. Even the grandest victories felt commonplace. In a land of heroes, how can anyone claim to be exceptional? Precisely. After the conquest of Hammerfell, I wandered in search of new challenges. I found only one. Lecky. Daughter to Rutger, and master of the sword. We fought for three grueling days, without pause for rest or nourishment. But I didn't win. I didn't lose, either. I could not accept a draw, however. The cold reality of my imperfection. That resentment drove me to Moloch Ball. It took the patient wisdom of a friend to break perfection's hold on me. Now, your turn. Your ally, are they a vampire? Interesting. A picture begins to emerge. Do you have anything else to ask? As you wish, know that this level of cordiality will not be repeated. And this is not a threat. If you continue to meddle in my affairs, I will take far more than your life. On that, you have my word. Face a cruel leech challenge. Welcome back, my friend. 
Tell me what you learned. Your arrival is fortuitous, as I have only just returned myself. Were you able to make contact with the rebels? Did you meet with Arana? I sensed some deception, but her illusion is powerful. How else did she hide her nature from me? As for Arana, do you think we can convince her and her rebels to join our cause? You spoke to Rodda. Did he... <sighs> no matter. If Rodda al Siran is here, our time grows short. Talk to Kadak. If he deems what you tell him worthy, maybe he'll finally be willing to work with me, and we can figure out how to deal with the Grey Host. It was only a matter of time before Rada and I crossed paths again. I just didn't think it would be this soon. Rada al Saran and I... We have a complicated history. There was a time when Rada and I stood united in purpose. To preserve the lives and welfare of vampires. Then, as now, our kin suffered under Molag Bol's curse and the cruelty of mortal hunters. Not exactly. At least, not all at once. When I first met Rodder, he was immensely proud but utterly consumed by his failures. He tried to find relief in bloodshed and battle, but he was truly lost. I did my best to help him. Yes. His bloodlust gave way to introspection, and introspection led to study. He was already a peerless scholar. All Ansei were, but he became fascinated with vampire texts. Eventually, he found a new purpose. Vampiric salvation. To accomplish this, he needed to break Molag Ball's hold over us and stop mortals from hunting us. I counseled peace with mortals, and for a while he agreed. But things changed. And I left the Grey Host. I thought he died with them. I sought to make the world a better place. I thought the Grey Council could help, but when it became the Grey Host... I formed the Raven Watch as an atonement. For things I failed to do, friends I failed to save. From mortals, and from themselves. Sentry board for Synth World. The Grey Host is... I'll hear no more of this! Go! I want to talk to the Outsider. The Outsider returns? But are you a true warrior? Or a parasite like these damned leeches? Did you do as Lady Belaine asked? Did you deal with the Rana? Tell me you have her head in your back. I've got a pike on the walls, waiting to be decorated. <sighs> That's not what you are asked to look into. Still, it confirms my own suspicions about my own keep witch. Don't look so surprised, I'm not half as stupid as people think, Rover. Allow! I can count on three fingers the number of people I allow in Understone Keep. <laughs> the rest, they come and go as they please. Let me tell you about the Ember Dance. It's a ceremony we perform here in the Reach. Have you ever heard of it? We grab a handful of hot coals and dance on a bit of straw. Ah, these coals burn over right to the bone. But if you drop even one, the straw alights, and the flames take all of you to Molek Ball. Do you see? Belaine's a hot coal. <laughs> so I grip her tight. I'm going to sharpen my sword. And wait. If you and the noble plan to fight the Grey Host, I won't stop you. But remember, Markarth is more than dwarven stones and high walls. It's strength. Make Arana understand that. That's how you can help. Still begging! I should have the tongue ripped from your head and... Ah, God damn it, Rover. A 
favor for a favor, I. That's the reach way. All right, tell the noble. Our Carrick will see him whenever he's ready. You think I'm foolish to keep Lady Belaine close, don't you? It takes a bit of foolishness to rule this place, don't you know? You tell this high elf of yours. I'll see him if he wants. Because I'm the aunt of Markarth! And she refuses to heed my commands! Look, every Reach warrior who dies fighting Arana's private war against the Greyhost makes all of us weaker. We need our strength now more than ever. Markarth's the safest place right now. No, no matter how well Arana and her rebels know the hills, the vampires and the werewolves sniff them out. If she keeps getting my best fighters killed, I swear I'll hang her from the city walls by her own guts. We made a deal. We gather in the city and leave them free to find whatever bit of dwarven nonsense brought them to the Reach in the first place. Of course, <laughs> Lady Belaine brokered that piece, so now I suppose our bargain is suspect. The city walls are still our strongest play, Lord. Like headstones. They mark the thousands of enemies who died trying to breach Markarth's defenses. We'll bide our time and wait for the Grey Host to show their true intentions. Then I'll act. That's a title given to me by outsiders. I use it to frighten the neighbors and <laughs> keep away the riffraff. I'm the art of Markarth. Leovic. The last Long House Emperor was my cousin. I inherited the throne by blood. Had to keep it by blood, too. You ask more questions than my third wife. <sighs> Leovic's clan, my clan, squabbled over the scraps after Varen murdered my cousin. Huh? Pretty soon, they came to take my city. So I bound their ankles and tossed them all to the rocks, head first! All that were left, aye, and the word is executed, not murdered. And Ard offers food, freedom, and protection with his right hand. With his left, he promises cruelty and punishment. Those that covet the right, get the left. Simple as that. No. That story's far worse. And no. I won't be telling it this day. Belaine ha I've been watching, but Lady Belaine hasn't returned to Understone Keep yet. I wonder how the Ard plans to deal with her. Speaking of Ard Kadok, will he meet with me now? Will he help us stop Radha al Saron and the Grey Host? Well, that's some progress, at least. And farther than I was able to get on my own. Thank you. I'll talk to Kadok, then I'd like to make contact with Arana. We'll need the Rebels' help and more if we're going to defeat the Grey Host. Your investigation.